Hi everyone, I'm Denise with Artist at Heart. Who's driving your red truck? I wore my llamas today because I thought maybe the llamas could be driving the red truck. Welcome, I'm so excited to be here. I'm so excited for you to join me, whether you're joining me live, which is to me the most fun, or if you're joining us recorded, that's great too. And even if you're watching live, it is recorded, so you're gonna be able to watch it later. You don't have to go as fast as I'm going. You could take your time and you can watch it again later. You can do it a couple of times. It's here for you to watch forever. So I'd like to always start with a sloppy copy. So if you guys have some practice paper and a pencil, that's great. I use black marker just so you could see it on the screen. I'm going to tell you not to use black marker. You can use black marker later, but to practice, use a pencil. So again, grab a pencil, some scrap paper, some computer paper, whatever it is that you have. All right. And I would have the format, so the layout of your paper, so that it's horizontal or landscape, but you don't have to. Again, just this, you know, composition is best being horizontal. And let's start with the shape of the truck. I like the red truck. If you want to make it blue, make it blue. But again, I'm going to sketch it out in black marker. So I'm going to start with a line like this and over, down. And then this is a horizontal line here. This is that like rim part on the truck. And go vertical line. And this is like the, the tailpipe right there. Let's make it go all the way down. Horizontal. You don't have to use a ruler. It doesn't have to be perfect. This is going to be the fender. So I'm going to go up and over and down. And I'm going to curve around and up and down. I'm going to click on my comment so I can see you guys. Hey, Holly. So if you guys see a StreamYard link and you're not familiar with it, uh, it just, it'll ask you for your name. If you want your name to be seen, you don't have to. Holly's one of our members. She joins us quite often. She's been with us since March. That's when we started this. So we're having fun. All right. Now I'm going to do um let's do a horizontal line this will be the other fender over here oops that's why let's see i made a mistake fender it's okay that's why you do it in pencil see it's a little lopsided but that's okay i'm gonna do a circle This is my practice. I'm not concerned about my mistakes. I do it over and over and over and over, right? You can look at my little truck here to see it. Well, I don't know if it's really showing up that great on there, but put the window here. So this is when I say, who's driving your red truck? You could put somebody in there, right? It could be it could be a little gingerbread man. He could be driving the truck, right? You could cut out your own picture and put it in there driving the red truck. It could be a little teddy bear driving the red truck. Now on the door here, here's the handle for the door. And then I put a wreath around mine, but on my toy truck over here, the wreath is on the front of the truck. So I'm just going to do a circle here just to give you an idea. Kind of like a scribbly little line here. A little bow on there. Here's where the door opens. The line for the door. And then in the back of the truck, I have one tree. You could put three trees if you want to. You can even put... A whole bunch, I thought this would be cute too, if you put a whole bunch of boxes of gifts in the back of the pickup truck. So it's, you could also put a truck full of llamas. You could have the llamas with the Christmas hats on. So this is your artwork. I want you to guys to customize it however you want, right? So I'm going to put a tree in there. 
because that's what I chose in my picture. So I want to stick to that. So here's my tree and my truck. And if you want to add ornaments, you can put some ornaments on there. You can do little candy canes. I'm going to put a star at the top. You can put an angel at the top. You can put whatever you want to at the top. Here, we'll, we'll put the road. I got, now, I have a snowman in mine, right? So my snowman's like, yay, welcome. He's, you know, I thought, oh my gosh, I hope no one thinks that he's, like the truck's going to hit him. And so he's really like, welcome. Now, who's he welcoming? That's up to you. It could be another snowman. It could be Santa Claus. Oh, wait. You could have Santa Claus driving the truck. Maybe his sleigh broke down. You could have Rudolph. Rudolph could be driving the red truck. So that's where you come. Oh, it could be a little cool. I think this is a koala. He kind of looks like a little baby koala to me. You could have a koala bear driving the truck. But over here, I have a snowman. So I'll start with, we could sketch out the head for the circle, middle circle, big circle. You can give him a hat if you want to. Carrot nose. Now yours is in pencil. So where the carrot nose overlaps the uh, face, you can erase it. You can put a scarf on them if you want to. You can put his arms like, hi. Welcome. And then snowflakes. Sometimes I just make snow, slow fake, uh, snowflakes like the letter X. X marks the spot. And then you could just do a crisscross and you put little V's at the end. V, 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 V. That's just one way to do a snowflake. You could do a snowflake like this with no nothing at the end. You could do a snowflake like this, like an X with a line through it. And then you could put little circles at the end. I'm just giving you ideas. X. V, V, oh, I gotta do it. V, 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 V. X. V, 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 V. That's my practice, right? And I still make some mistakes. And I've done this before. You guys have probably never done this. So don't be hurting yourself if you make a mistake. Then I'm going to go to my good one, and I love canvas. <laughs> yes. Someone says, hey, Jenny. Jenny's here, and Emma and Bella's here, and someone said, I have so many decorations. I do, you guys. I have a lot of decorations, and I have to say I get a few more, too. I pick up a few more here and there to go with. My artwork, it inspires me. So when I see the red truck with a tree in it, I'm like, oh, I have to get that. Where did I get that one? I think I got that at Lowe's. So, who, all right. So again, while you guys are practicing and getting ready, who's driving your truck? Are you thinking about it? Well, first, let me tell you a joke. What do you call a snowman's dog? Oh, I don't know if I typed this up. What do you call a snowman's dog? Hey, Pam. You call a snowman's dog a slush puppy. <laughs> a slush puppy. All right, that's your first joke of the day. Okay, now I put my marker down. Now I gotta find it. All right, let's go back to our truck. So this is my good one. I'm gonna start with the hood and I'm gonna curve and I'm gonna go up. And over and down, horizontal line for the bed of the truck. This is the little tailpipe over here. And the fender. And the wheel. Circle, circle, circle. Horizontal line. I'll do it with the other fender. 
The fenders kind of look like sideways C's to me. Do the window. And if you want to, again, you can make it like a collage and you can glue something in there. So if you have a really cool Grinch picture or if you have a picture of yourself or your mom, you can stick it in there. Could the Grinch be driving the red truck? Of course. Do you drive? Do you have a license? How old are you? How old is the Grinch? Hmm. How old do you think the Grinch is? I don't know. The gingerbread man wants to drive. I think the gingerbread man's too young. He looks young. I think the Grinch has a driver's license. All right, I've seen him drive a sleigh. There's the little handle and then the, you know, greenery for the wreath. If you want to do a wreath, again, you could have a, gre a wreath somewhere else. You don't have to have a wreath at all. You could put like, you know, Smith's tree truck or Smith's 2020 on the door if you want. Right. So I'm going to make that a little wider right there. And my paint's going to cover it. So if you're using pencil, your paint will cover it up. Or you can always like lighten up the lines. I'm going to do the door line here. Curve around. Here's just the trim of the bed. I'll do my little snowman over here. So let's start with the bottom. Oops. Medium. Let's do his head. Scarf, if you want to have a scarf. You don't have to. This is your artwork. You decide what you want. So again, I'm going to make mine look like the sample with the tree. You could have three trees in the back. You could have presents. You could have a surprise. Here, let's see who, could, who else could be driving the truck. I got, now this is just not normally part of my holiday collection. This is just for this. Who's driving the truck? I hope this works. What do you think's in here? Ah! You thought it was someone else. Who's that? Who's driving the truck? Do you know how to drive? <laughs> do you, it's Olaf. Does Olaf know how to drive? How old is Olaf? What do you guys think? Olaf, can you drive the truck? Olaf says, absolutely, absolutely, I can drive the truck. Of course, of course he thinks he can drive the truck. Okay, so now I'm gonna do my tree. I'm gonna put a star at the top. Again, I'm well, right now it looks like it's floating in the air, so we have to have the ground. So I'm just going to do a horizontal line, jump over the snowman, little baby horizontal line, and finish it off over here. So that could be snow. It could be a road. I would make it snow, make it white. Let's see. How about some snowflakes? I'll just sketch them out, and then I'll paint over them because I don't want black snowflakes. So X marks the spot anywhere you want. Then I'm going to do a, a vertical line and a horizontal line. Baby V's, baby V, 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 V. Or X marks the spot with a line through it. And you could do little circles. Or you can make a snowflake however you want to. If you have glitter, you can put glitter on later. X marks the spot with a line through it. Do as many as you want. I'm going to try really hard not to get my llama sweater dirty. 
I was thinking all these colors on here, no one might not notice, but on the front of their face. So it's pretty challenging for me to stay neat, but I'm going to really try. We'll see. We'll see if I can stay clean. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Olaf is only seven or eight. Someone said Olaf is only, Olaf looks older than seven or eight. Come on. I don't think so. All right, well, let's see. Who else? Oh, thanks, Olaf. All right, how, how about this one? Who's driving the red truck? I still jump. Are you old enough to drive the truck? I'm old enough to drive the truck. All right, that definitely does not sound like Mickey. Yay, Mickey. Do these things scare you guys? They're so cute. They're so cute, right? Mickey can drive. Olaf can drive. Okay, maybe it's a toy car. Olaf could drive that toy car. I still don't think Olaf is only seven, but hey, you guys know you're the kids. So, all right, let's go. Let's. Let's get ready to paint. How about it? So I'm gonna start with the background and I'm gonna use blue and then I'm gonna lighten it up as it gets closer to the tree, just so that the red stands out a little bit more. Now, if you have time and you wanna just do the whole background light blue, you can do that, but then you have to dry it. So if you have an old blow dryer, you can take an old blow dryer and dry it. That's like the easiest way if you're using acrylic paint. Ooh, Olaf was created in 2013. Oh. I didn't mean created. I meant like, you know, his character. How old is his character? But if he was created, but he hasn't aged in seven years. So, all right. So I'm going to do the background, but I'm going to paint around my stuff in case you're using crayons or colored pencils, watercolor paint. It's really hard to layer watercolor paint and temper paint. So I'm going to paint around everything. But if you are using acrylic, you could just do the whole background light blue and then let it dry or dry it with a blow dryer and layer your paint. But I am using acrylic paint, but I'm, I'm going to just paint around everything. So I'm going to start with my blue. It doesn't matter what kind of brush you use as long as it's not one of those cheap plastic bristle brushes because they don't absorb paint. And I am going to paint right over my, slow my snowflakes because I want to do them white later. So I'm just using blue. Any kind of blue is good. I'm going horizontal. Oops, it just went in my star. Don't worry if you go inside the line a little bit. Just I got to slow down. When I rush, I make mistakes. So I'm going to slow down, take my time. And you could be doing this any size you want. And again, if you don't like the way it comes out, do it again later. Make a Christmas card with it. Send it to somebody. Hang it on your door. Give it to your mailman. Put it in a frame. I like to change my artwork in my house seasonally. So in the summer, I have like a lot of seashell pictures and water pictures. And in the winter... I have more winter scenery, winter landscapes, holidays. I have more holiday stuff. And everyone works at their own pace. So you do not have to keep up with me. You can take your time. Or some of you might be like, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. I was a teacher. I heard that all the time. I'm done. What do I do now? I'm done. Relax. You can watch, put some nice music on. Wow. 
We'll make the blue come all the way down to here where the snow is going to be. And I didn't lighten it, but I want to because it'll look better if it's a little bit lighter down here against the bright red tree. And you can also make it pink, like a light red, which I could do later too. So it just kind of fades into that light blue. Again, I'll just make it look a little bit more contrast. It'll show up more if I lighten this up a little bit. And I just sprinkled white paint on my carpet. So this paint, acrylic paint, is non-toxic and it's washable. So even though I got it on my carpet, I can wash it out today. It takes about 24 hours to set. So if you guys get it on any type of fabric, clothing, carpet, wash it out within 24 hours, it'll come out. After that, it takes longer. So like you're, if you're using acrylic paint on canvas, it's going to be waterproof after 24 hours which means you can get it wet and it won't come off. And the same goes with your clothes. Now your nails and your skin and everything, don't worry about that. It comes right out. But I love it because it's opaque, which means it's not see-through. Now if you're, so my white on my black, I could see my snowflakes a little bit. So sometimes you have to add a few layers. It just depends on the thickness of the paint you're using. I'm going to blend that together a little bit more. All right, so Olaf was created in, what did you tell me? Rachel was saying that Rachel's my niece, by the way, you guys. Rachel's home from college. So Rachel was saying Olaf was created in 2003. 13 and how old is Olaf like how old is he supposed to be and if you guys have been following me for a long time Rachel used to come on and help me all the time but now she's off to of college and she's home for the holidays Hanging with her family. I have another joke for you guys. Why do snowmen like living in the North Pole? Why do snowmen like living in the North Pole? Because it's cool. Because <laughs> it's cool. Get it? I'm going to do around the scarf in light blue. And where it transitions from blue to light blue. You just want to make sure that there's not a strong line there. You just want to kind of blend it in. There you go. Now, if you want, while you have the blue on your brush, see, I try to minimize how much I wash my brush. So if you want to just put a little bit of white on the blue brush, then you don't have to wash it off. And you could do the snow down here. I did do my snow, just it has a tinge a little bit, you see a blue in it, makes it more interesting. Like it's reflecting 
the sky and the snow, but you want to make it really light. So I just scooped up some more white and added to it. If you guys are washing off your brush in water, make sure you dry it off so it's not so wet. You don't want it to drip everywhere and you don't want it to water down your paint. So if you're rinsing off your brush a lot, I try not to. I just took that dirty brush and scooped up the paint and mixed it right on my canvas. And that line doesn't have to be straight because it's snow, right? So it's not going to be a perfectly straight line. And I'm not worrying about going in the lines. I can paint over it. And if you're using crayons or colored pencils, you can use like a really light blue or you can use white. I just, again, like a little bit of the light blue in there. And we can put the shadows in later. Let's just let that dry. We'll put some shadows in just to give it a little. All right, you ready to do, let's do the red. Cause why not? Cause we're doing the red truck. Now you guys, if you want to do a green truck, do a green truck. If you want to make a pink truck, make a pink truck, make a purple truck. This is your artwork. So I want you to use your favorite colors. I'm doing mine red. So I'm just going to, you know, again, wash off your brush, dry it off, scoop up some red or use a red crayon. I should have done my window too. I can do my window later because that's going to be light blue too. White and light blue, like a reflection. Or again, you can paint it in with a person or Grinch or gingerbread man or Rudolph. Rachel could be driving that red truck, right? Rachel, you're going to drive the red truck? to college full of stuff oh my gosh she came home till january with a truckload of stuff Rachel wants to be a teacher, like her mother. Who's behind the scene? Oh, uh, so today, Yana and Hannah are helping me behind the scenes. So Holly just asked who's helping me. So when you guys have people commenting or uh, doing stuff that says it's me, it's my helpers. They're my assistants. So they bring, you know, the jokes up on the screen. They'll bring you guys up on the screen later. That's my favorite part. So my favorite part, you're going to get a StreamYard link later. And you can come up on the camera and share your artwork if you want to. Okay? That's my favorite part. It'll say, you know, StreamYard, if you want your name to be shown, that's why it asks you. Otherwise, it'll just say Facebook user, which is fine, too. So I think it's really relaxing when you guys listen to music while you're creating. I can't play music because of the copyright and I don't want you to have to listen to 
the music that I want to listen to. I want you to listen to the music you'd like to listen to. We do. Slables ring, are you listening in the lane? Snow is glistening. See, you don't want to hear me sing. Alexa, play Walking in a Winter Wonderland. Okay, I don't have an Alexa, but I love to set people's off. So if you have one, I hope I just set it off. <laughs> So if you have any questions, go ahead and chat and they will help you. When we first started this in March, my sister Darcy was helping me. Rachel and Joe were helping me. My niece and nephew, Richie, a lot of family effort. And then, you know, when people started going back to school and work, I needed, I needed more help. I tried doing it on my own and I'm a little technology challenged. Oops. And I'm not paying attention. I just went inside the tire. Now the tire's black. So I'm not worried about it because the black will cover that up. But I'm not great at multitasking. So if I'm starting to think, oh, let me tell them a story. And then all of a sudden I start rushing and I go out of the line. So I have to really be mindful. So look, I made a mistake here, but I'm going to paint over it. So I'm not worried about it. Mistakes happen, you guys. The more you do it, the better you're going to get at it. And just think, I've done this many times, and I still make mistakes because that's normal. Don't. It doesn't have to be perfect. I know you want it to be perfect. Now, if you, so if you look at my truck, see how it has highlights? So it's not flat red. So you can leave it flat red like this, which means just all red with no value. Or you can add a little bit of white. So I'm not going to wash off my brush. I just scooped up some white paint. And I'm just going to add it right on my canvas and mix it in there. So that gives it a little bit of value. So when I add white to a color, it's called a tint. T-I-N-T. -T. So there's a tint of red. It gives it a little bit more interest. So it doesn't look so cartoony if you give it some value. Value is the lights and darks of something. So I'm just getting, again, give it a little bit of light in here. And I'll do the same thing on the other fender in here. I could add some in the door if I want to. It just depends on, you know, the look you want. Yes, I can see. So Darcy just filled out her name. So now we can see that it says Darcy. But before it said Facebook user. Again, not a big deal. You guys are all in a private group, so uh, not that it's a big deal anyway. And StreamYard I love because it allows us to broadcast to all these different places. So we can broadcast on YouTube, Facebook, private Facebook groups, and this will also be on the website. So all my members have access to the website, the private group, so much stuff, and they get an app. So all of the stuff can be used on any app on any device. All right. Now, how about if we do our tree now? Yeah, let's do our tree. So I'm going to do my tree green. You can do your tree, tree however you want to. If you don't have green, mix together some yellow and blue. Always when you're making a color, you use more of the lighter color. So you would have more yellow and a little bit of blue. And then I'm just going to follow the line. So I'm going to kind of go out like this. Follow the line of my tree. Out like that. So 
So the contrast here is not that much because the blue and the green are pretty close. So I can add a little bit of white. Let's see what happens. So I can add a little bit of white to it. I can also put some yellow in there. I can lighten the blue behind it so it shows up better. There's so many options. Or you could just leave it. Maybe your dog is driving the truck or your cat. Oh, I have another joke. Where would you find snowmen dancing? Where would you find snowmen dancing? At a snowball. <laughs> Did you guess that? Did you know that? So I just scooped up some white and again, and the green, and I just mixed it right on my canvas. My brush strokes are following that direction, just kind of wispy little brush strokes like that. Or you could be using crayon or color pencil. I could make it go right off the edge if I wanted to. And while I have the green on my brush, I'm gonna do my little wreath on the door. Now I'm gonna do my scarf green, but you can make your scarf any color you want. So again, while I have the green on there, you could do a pattern. You could do like a candy cane scarf with like red and white. That would be cute. You could do any kind of pattern. You could do your favorite sports team colors. I think Ohio State is red and white. Not that you're all from Ohio. I'm in Cleveland here, Cleveland, Ohio, and I don't know much about sports. There's my little scarf. I could make it bigger. Now, I haven't said it yet, but I always wait till the end to use black because it's so dark and, and strong, and I, I just always end up getting it in so many places that I don't want it. Do your star. Now, if you have glitter or gold or silver, that would be pretty. I'm using yellow. Even if you have sequins, if you have loose sequins at home, you could put the ornaments on with sequins. That would be pretty too. So you can add real things to your artwork if you have them. If you have real buttons, you could put buttons on there. That would be cute too. Now the nose of the oh, the nose of the scarecrow. Oh my gosh, I was gonna say scarecrow. It's because I just got paint on my tree and I'm not paying attention. The nose on my snowman is orange, so I'm gonna take a little bit of yellow and a little tiny bit of red, and I'm gonna to mix together a little bit of orange. I'm gonna give them a carrot nose. There's his carrot nose. I wanted his hat to be black, so I'm just gonna do the black later. Oh, you know what I forgot too is the handle. So the handle I'm gonna do black too. I am gonna paint in my window that really, really light blue. So if you haven't done that already, I would just, just so it looks like glass and it's like reflecting. So just a little tiny bit of light blue. Can you see that? It looks white, doesn't it? I'm gonna touch the blue. And again, you could put someone's picture in there. I think that would be so cute to add someone's picture. 
Or you can draw it. That would be super cute too. Draw Santa in there. I'm going to take my white before I start messing with the black. I'm going to go over my snowflakes. And I want to put some ornaments on too, but I want to wait for my tree to dry a little bit. Again, you could do dots. You just put little hearts on there. That would be really cute. Let's see what it looks like with little hearts. They still kind of look like the V's. The little V's look like little hearts. Now, another thing you could do is flip it over and use the handle of the brush and dip it in some white paint if you want to do little baby little snowflakes like da, 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 da. Just don't make it look like a pattern. So snow is scattered. So you want to randomly put them. If I put them all systematically, like evenly spaced out, it doesn't look natural. Now, if you want, you can do the arms on the snowman in brown. So if you take some orange and mix a little bit of black and red or blue, you'll get a brown. You can put a little white in there. Brown is super fun to make because you can mix all the colors together and you can get all different kinds of brown. So you can do brown or you can do black. I, I want to do mine black. So again, you guys think about what you who's driving your truck. Oh, and I forgot the buttons too. What color buttons should I have? I could do black buttons too. And I could put a little ribbon on the top of his hat. How about, why don't I give him a red ribbon or yellow? There's not a lot of yellow in this artwork. Nah, I think red would look better. Okay, so I'm going to give him, let's give him a little bit. And you guys don't have to. I'm going to give him, he could be wearing a baseball cap. I'm going to give him a little red ribbon and then i'm going to do the black hat so if you want it to look more like a top hat top hats are would be bigger up here And then this is the brim. I 
And I'm going to do his eyes like coal. Two eyes made out of coal. Now I'm going to do my arms in, in black just so it shows up. It's going to be a little... He's waving at who's ever coming. Hello! Hello! And if you want to outline it, you can outline it. you got to have a steady hand. My hand's not so steady today, but I'm going to try. Uh, you can also wait for it to dry and use a black marker. Sometimes I drink too much coffee on a cold day. Oh my gosh, I have this gingerbread cinnamon coffee. It's so good. So that's what it looks like outline, but you don't have to outline it. The heavier you press, the wider the bristle is going to spread on the brush and the thicker the line is going to be. Or again, you can use a marker or color pencil or not outline it at all. I just like to give you options so you can see the look of it. I'm going to do the tire. Look, I'm going to fix my tire up a little bit. More I went inside the line. Usually right around now, the kids want to come on the camera. So let me just finish this up a little bit. And you do not have to be done by any means. Everyone works at their own pace. Oh, I got to do the ornaments on the tree. Oh, and the handle here, the door handle. How are you going to get in the car? You'd have to climb through the window. If there's no handle. You'd have to climb through the window. I'm not doing that. Got to have a handle. Now, you can look at my tr my truck here. He doesn't have a little black circle in the middle, but I'm going to put a little black circle, or you can make it gray or silver. So I just went out of the line a little bit. That's okay. So you can either take a paper towel and wipe it off. Or I can go over it with some red paint. Either way. While it's wet, it's pretty easy to come off. Just don't paint over it until it's dry. So like if I want to paint over that, I just have to be patient, which is hard. Let it dry, and then I can paint over it. The tailpipe is black too. You can make it silver or gray. Just take a little bit of black and add some white to it. You can add the line here for the pickup truck. 
You can outline the whole thing if you want to. Just showing you. You can outline down here. You could put snow on it, right? You could put snow on the truck. So you could add a little bit of snow on top here if you want to. You could put some snow on the fender. So it's just white and it's not straight, it's just kind of weedy. You don't have to add the snow, it just adds to it. You could have the whole pickup truck full of snow. Put a little snow on the fenders. And let's do some of the ornaments. My star looks kind of funny. I think I'm going to outline my star. I didn't really stay in the lines that great. Does that look better? The little outline. And you can make it look like it's glowing. You can put some little yellow lines coming out like that. Like it's glowing. If you want, you don't have to. Let's put some ornaments on here. And again, your ornaments could be any colors you want, your favorite color. You could do little candy canes. You could decorate your whole tree in your favorite colors. It does not have to look like mine. You could have a little baby penguin and a snowman driving the truck. But don't sit on the, you can't sit on the lap while you're driving the truck. That's not safe. You have to have a baby penguin seat. I think that's good. And if you wanted to do, you know, like a zigzag tinsel line, you know, like swoop, diagonal, diagonal, you could do that too. You don't have to. If you want to add some little white highlight lines in there, you know, like, oop, that's, that's a lot of paint. <laughs> I meant to make it smaller. So let's see what I could do. Let's scoop it out. So these are just like little highlights, little white highlights. So what could I do to fix that? Because I don't like it's too thick. So I can go back over it with some green, mix it in there, cover it up. No one knows but you and me. Shh, don't tell anybody. Bye.
better? Did I forget anything? Now, you know what? I might as well outline the tree because I think the star looks funny outlined and not the tree. So I'm going to outline the tree. And if, Yana, you want to give them the link to come up, that would be great. So you guys, the way the link works, if you've never done it, you you they'll bring you up in a green room. So you'll be like in this waiting room and then they'll bring you up on the camera. So here's what I'm going to ask that you do if you're new. You turn your Facebook volume down and leave your computer volume normal. But we are on a slight delay. So just so you know, there's like a 10 second delay. So when you come up on the camera, your computer is going to show 10 seconds ago and we'll hear that background. So it'll and it'll be weird for you because you're going to be watching it from the, you know, 10 seconds ago and it's going to be loud. So turn your volume down and then just click the link. And even if you're not done, just come up and share. You can tell us how old you are. You could tell us, you know, if you live in Florida or Ohio or Hawaii, <laughs> wherever you're at. We have people from all over the place. It's awesome. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Rhonda. Rhonda, good call. Someone's paying attention. Thank you. I think... I think I should do red buttons. What do you think? I think red buttons would be cute since we're doing the red truck. You guys agree? How about a little red button? Thank you. And they could be hearts, but I'm going to just do. I felt like I missed something. There's red. I like to do it a little bit different. And again, you guys decide what you want to put in the, in the driver's seat. So... Okay, Yana, whenever you're ready. I'm good. Oh, hi, Holly. Hi. Let me see your hat. You have a different one on. That's so cute. And it jingles. And it j Let me hear. That's awesome. And this is my painting. Wow. Oh, I, I like the, the, for the ornaments. What a great idea. How did you get them to stick? Were they sticky? Were they like stickers? It's a stick on. It's a stick on. Oh, I love it. That's a great idea. Um, yeah. Love it. That's really good. I, I'm going to have to look around and see if I have any Thank of those. You. Thanks, Holly Ann. Thanks for sharing. <laughs> Bye. Love that hat. Hey, Lola. Hi, so I was just about to do the snow in the car. Okay. This is mine. Wow, that and, was great. Um, In the screen, it looks like the snowman is stuck in the yes. snow. Oh, yeah. no, it looks great. And I wanted to show you something. Okay. Oh, <laughs> how's the puppy? <laughs> Oh my gosh, so cute. Tell me the puppy's name again. Tito. So cute. Oh my gosh, I love that. How does he feel about being Santa? <laughs> Not good. <laughs> Not good. Can he drive the truck? <laughs> <laughs> He's too young. Yeah. Oh my gosh, so cute. Thanks for sharing, Lola. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. You're welcome. Thank you, guys. Oh my gosh, so cute. Hi, girls. Oh, hi. Hi. So this is my painting. Oh my gosh, I love it. I love your top, your Mickey top. And let me see your picture up close. Come closer. Oh, you guys have matching. Are those, oh my gosh, look at those matching pajamas. I love it. It's a PJ. Love it. Love them. This is my drawing. I actually, I added um, glass spots since this is actually snow. And I what made me drive the truck. You're driving? <laughs> uh -huh. How old are you? Ten. Ten. <laughs> you have six more years. My birthday was like five days ago. Happy birthday! 
That's awesome. Do all three of you have a red hair? I mine. I put a blue truck instead of a red truck. Come in for the camera. Oh, that's so cute. Wait, Santa, is that Santa and his sleigh and Rudolph? Rudolph and Santa in his sleigh. I call it Cora. <laughs> Sage, Natasha, and Cora. I love it. That's awesome. And Happy birthday. Thank you. Thanks, girls. Bye. Bye. That's awesome. Oh my gosh, I love that. You guys can totally add that stuff. Hey, Rachel. Hi. That's great. Ooh, I love your snowflakes. Thank you. You guys, you did a really good job. And I love your snowman. He's so cute. Thank you. I, you did a great job. Let me see your shirt. Look, I mean, you, you should have a unicorn driving. <laughs> you you could have a unicorn driving the truck. Maybe. Thanks, Rachel. Is anyone going to do a llama? Did you see my llama shirt? Look. Llama. You can have the llamas driving the truck, right? What else did I show you guys? The gingerbread man, he could be driving the truck. And I know some of you guys were with us last night when we did the gingerbread house. I, for the first time this year, decided I'm going to make a gingerbread house. This is going to be a new thing. I don't know how in my life I have never made one other than a painting, right? So if you were with us last night, you already saw this. I created, well, I didn't bake it, you guys. It was out of a box, okay? This is my gingerbread house. I, 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 it was way, don't even look at the side. I didn't even keep going. It was so much harder than I thought. And this is as good as it gets. Okay. And I'll try it again next year, but the front, I just wanted to have the front done for the camera. And then I stopped because it was hard. It was messy. It was sticky and tricky, sticky and tricky. All right. Come on on. Who else do we have here? Hey, Megan. Hi. Hi. Ellie and Claire. Ellie and Claire. Okay, I'm reading your name. So hi, Ellie and Claire. Hi. Are you guys in Ohio? Yes. Yeah. Yay, me too. All right, what'd you make today? I'm not even doing this. That is amazing. Wow. Thank you. That looks great. You guys are doing great. And I'm so glad you're taking your time. And is that your little brother? Yeah. Uh, what's his name? Sean. Sean, that looks great. It's kind of upside down right now. Flip it around. <laughs> yeah, now that's better. I'm not even doing it. Good job, Sean. Girls, you are doing amazing. Oh, and there's another one over there. Hi. <laughs> you have a full house. And who's that? That's Jack. Hey, Jack. How's it going? You having fun? Yeah. Awesome. That's great. You guys are really doing great. And I'm so glad you're taking your time. I can tell because they look so neat. I'm not that neat. You guys are doing awesome. Oh, I guess Sean has another one. Sean, you going to give it another try? Yeah. Yes? You going to give it another try? <laughs> That's great. I love it. You guys, is this your first time? Yes. Yeah. Yes? Oh, welcome. I'm so excited. So you're doing fantastic. A lot of the kids have been doing this with me since March. So they're very familiar. But you guys are doing awesome. I'm very impressed. So thank you. Send me pictures. There's a thing on Facebook. You can check in. And when you're done, if you guys could send a picture, that's awesome. If you can't figure it out, you can always message me, okay? Thank you for joining us. Merry Christmas. That's awesome. And I'm Bella from Florida. Look at the blinking lights. Is it, How did you get that to do that? Is that a necklace or is that yes, plugged in? Dollar store necklace. No, I got to go back. To, is it dollar store or dollar tree? I don't know. I think it's dollar tree. I have. Oh, I got to go get one of those. 
Those are awesome. Yeah, mine doesn't work right now. <laughs> oh, well, that's all right. <laughs> sisters, can you tell sisters? Yeah. Well, this is my painting. Oh, sunglasses. I love it. Who's driving? Wait, let me see. I oh, my gosh. That is so cute. Is that a little bear? No, it's Phil Cypher from Gravity Falls because he's usually evil, but during Christmas, he decided to be nice. <laughs> okay, so I don't even know who that is. Say it slowly. Who is that? Phil Cypher from Gravity Falls, who is an evil triangle. <laughs> an evil triangle? Yes, but during Christmas, he decided to be nice, so you feel. And I, my truck is being driven by Anna, and then Elsa's right here, and then Olaf, and then Kristoff somewhere over here. I accidentally covered him in blue. And so, but I know you, you can fix it, and I know you can paint it again later. Yeah. And, I have and look at the wall. Oh, sorry. Irina, scan the wall. Where, oh, that looks, I'm Irina, go over just a little bit so we can see the wall. See, the girls have the wall in the background for all my new people. The girls, again, have been with us since March. They're in Florida. And so they have an art wall that they keep adding to. Whole pictures here. I'm going to add these things shortly. That's awesome. We love that. So they use canvas pads, so they're flat. <laughs> they're silly. They they like to tell me that when they first started, they were shy. Can you believe that they think that they were shy? And now they're not shy anymore. So after nine months of doing this, they're they're like Vanna White. You guys probably don't even know who Vanna White is, but we have two Vanna Whites here. So that looks amazing. I love it. All those videos you guys are on the website. In so thank you. Lights. What's that? In my picture of um, the truck, I have Northern Lights on. Oh, Northern Lights! I love that. And um, did you know that Olaf in the second Frozen is three years old? Uh, thank you. And how many Frozen movies are there? Two. So far. So he's only three years old. Yep. He looks. I'm sorry. I don't want to be mean, but he, Olaf kind of looks like an old man. He does. Kind of, sort of. He's just very inquisitive. Yes. <laughs> Got it. Okay. Well, thank you very much from Florida. I bet you guys don't have no snow. No. Have you seen snow? Yes, I have. Yeah. But not in Florida. In Pennsylvania. Not. Got it. Okay. So you've seen snow in your life. I know Benjamin said that, like, that he saw the picture, and he Benjamin's never seen snow. Aww. Benjamin's in California. Yeah. So. All right, girls. Thanks. Thanks, Irina. Okay. Thank you, Denise. Thank you. You're Bye. welcome. Bye, guys. Where's my? You can't even see my heart. There, <laughs> there it is. Boing, 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 boing. Thanks. Oh, I can't even do that. Look at how she has her fingers like that. <laughs> Bye, you guys. Huge heart. <laughs> All right. So, you guys, since all right, Rachel's my niece. Richie and Joe are my nephews. And I have to be honest, since they grew up, Joe's the youngest now. He's six, almost 16. But I don't keep up with the cartoon. So when you guys are saying these, the evil triangle, I have no idea who that is. I do know SpongeBob. He's square, right? And I do know Olaf a little bit. But the other stuff, I don't really know. I know the old school. I know Elf. I know a Christmas story, Christmas story that was filmed in Cleveland, right? Takes place in Cleveland, Ohio. What other? I know Rudolph. I know the classics, you guys. I know Rudolph. I know the Grinch. But the other stuff I have to keep up with. So you guys are doing awesome. I had so much fun with you today. I am thrilled that you guys created with me and I hope you continue, especially if you're new. I love when you share pictures. So you can share them in the group if you want to, but if you go to the Artist at Heart Paint Party page, there's a little button that says check in and you can upload your photos there and check in and then everyone that follows the Artist at Heart Paint Party page can see it. So if you can't figure it out, it's pretty easy. It just says check in and you click it. But if you can't figure it out, you can message it me or underneath this video in the comments, like where you guys were all chatting, you can also put your picture there. Uh, let me, or if you can't figure that out, you can message me. 
All right, message me. I love sharing the photos. I love to show all the different supplies that everyone used. I love to show how everyone changed it and made it their own, right? That's what I love. I love when you guys can change it up and make it your own and change the colors, add an elf, add a triangle driving the truck, uh, you know, add Christmas lights. You can add, you know, the Santa in the sky with the Rudolph pulling the sleigh. I love that. That's so creative. You know, I'm trying to think of what else I didn't hold up. Pretty soon we're going to be doing nutcrackers. But you could have a nutcracker driving your truck, right? So I've never really cracked a nut with this thing. But he's cute. I have a bunch of nutcrackers. I love nutcrackers. So your nutcracker could be driving the truck. It's up to you. I don't think people really crack their own nuts anymore, do they? All right, can you guys do the do me a favor and put the link up one more time, Hannah? Hannah and Yana, could you put the link up? My sister wants to come up before we wrap it up. I can't believe it. She never wants to come on. So one more time, you guys, if you want to come up, this is your last chance. Yana and Hannah are going to give you the link. Did you guys see my cute truck? All right, this little thing. Oh, look at that. So look at, see how the wreath is on the front of it? Isn't that cute? There's the link. So you guys, I got this at Lowe's. Can you believe it? This is at Lowe's. It took me forever to figure it out. How to do it? I had to put batteries in. But I think this is a cute little red truck. I should put something inside. Let's see. I bet you he'll fit in there. My little koala bear. He could sit down on a phone book. Well, they don't even have phone books anymore. Like my little grandma, my grandma was only five feet tall. She had to sit on like 10 pillows just to be able to see. So there's my koala driving my, who's driving your red truck? We'll have to put the koala on a pillow. He's a little bit small. And then I think this guy's too big. I need something in between. Let's see if he fits in there. See, he doesn't fit. I don't want him to get him stuck. How's that? He can tap dance for you while we're waiting for Darcy. <laughs> Where's my sister? She can't figure it out. Oh, Jenny's here. Jenny, Jenny, Jenny. Hi. Hey, J hey, Jenny. How are you? Good. That looks amazing. I love it. Thanks. How was Japan? That's good. Oh, that's great. Merry Christmas. Oh, look at Jenny's art wall. Look at Jenny has an art wall too. Thanks, Jenny. It's awesome. Oh, this is my mom. Yeah. Oh, your mom. That looks great. Love it. Thank, Thank you. you. Merry Christmas, you guys. Yeah. Where's my sister? Nice, Good nice day. wall, Darcy. Hang on. <laughs> so Darcy's as good in technology, technology as I am. Hi. 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 <laughs> you have to lower your Facebook volume. Oh, she took herself off. <laughs> I don't think she meant to do that. Yeah, so some people are saying that they're going to take a picture and send it to me. So that's awesome. I love when you guys do that. And if you want, you can just say your age or your name or where you're, you know, where you're at if you're in Ohio. Don't give me your address or anything. But uh, just because, you know, we want to be safe. Okay, my sister's going to try again. <laughs> Hi, sister. <laughs> Does she not see herself? Oh, Darcy, we see you. <laughs> She's so funny. How does she not see herself? Okay. That's so funny. All right. Darcy has um, 
not been on in quite a while. She was helping me so much in the beginning. Again, when we did this, the first day we went live was March 16th. And we really went live just about every day for March, April, and May. And Darcy was helping me and her kids were helping me. So now we're in a private group before we used to just be on my page. And so, you know, it's it takes a while to get used to it. So I get it. So I hope you guys are having fun. I hope you had a great time. This is a great family activity. And check out more. I have a YouTube channel, Artist at Heart Paint Party. You can subscribe on the website. You'll get emails with updates and activities. We have an awesome holiday sale right now. So you can check that out as well. If you have any questions, feel free to email me. You can message me and I will get back to you. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful, blessed day. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Uh, thank you so much for joining me. I would not do this without you guys. I have so much fun creating with you. So uh, anyways, thanks so much. And I will see you again soon. Bye, you guys.